Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy X. Alright, you guys, we gotta go to the far plane. We gotta check out the far plane. Now, if you remember, uh, the far plane is basically heaven. Uh, although it's a slightly different <clears throat> because it's an actual physical place that you can really go to. Uh, and you can actually talk to the spirits of the dead. And I mean that in the realest sense of the form, we are actually about to go essentially into heaven where there will be many spirits uh, wandering around and stuff. And uh, if you go to the far plane in their world, basically the people that you knew who have died will kind of come forth and uh, um, you'll be able to kind of speak to them. It's, it's, it's hard to explain. Remember, the far plane is sacrosanct. Proper conduct, please. Yeah, you gotta be, uh... You definitely gotta be a good boy in here. Cool. Lightning marble times eight. <clears throat> so the game's gonna start feeding us a bunch of random, uh, strange-sounding items. And essentially those items... Uh, if I go here into the menu... All of these items are to teach Aeons uh, different techniques. So we have LV here, our lightning... Uh, our lightning Aeon. Have, uh, give me one second. Oh, it does have stage 2, Thundara. So, with those lightning marbles, we can basically teach, uh, another Aeon some Thunder abilities. So if we scroll down here, we can see Thundara, lightning marble. It takes two lightning marbles to teach Thundara. So we'll go ahead and teach Thundara to Gata. You see how it works, you guys? Pretty simple stuff. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and teach uh, Gata Water as well, because there is no Water Aeon in the game, um, but you can turn Veilfor into the Water Aeon just like that. <laughs> so, and we'll go ahead and teach uh, Thundara to Costa as well, because we still have some Lightning Marbles. So now Gata Cost and LV know Thundara, and Gata can do Waterra now. So as you play through the game, uh, you are going to get tons of items. You can eventually teach your Aeons essentially the entire move list. Uh, it takes a long time, Question? but... About this far plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? Yep. So their souls, or whatever they are, uh, they go to the far plane, right? Mm -hmm. But... That's the far plane we're going to, right? <laughs> and Yuna's old man's there too? Do dead people live there or something? Hmm. hmm. They kind of do, in a way. <clears throat> Not in the way that he's imagining ghosts and spirits and demons everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you thinking those funny thoughts again? <laughs> <sighs> You'll see once we get there. It's actually pretty cool. I remember the first time that I saw this place in this game, I was like, well... <laughs> you know? Like, every hour in this game, this game became the coolest game of all time. Coming? Every hour. I do not belong there. <laughs> You're scared. Searching the past to find the future. This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memories of them. People think of their relatives, and the fireflies react to them. Mm -hmm. They take on the form of the dead person. An illusion, nothing else. Hmm. Well, have fun. What? You're not going either, Riku? I'll better forbidden. I keep my memories inside. Huh? She just memories doesn't want to say nice, it. But that's all they are. So, um... What was I going to say there? Uh, a, a, an interesting thing about the far plane as well is that, say you have, like, a missing family member, like somebody in your family went missing a long time ago or something, and, you know, they just never turned up. Um, if they died... I know it sounds kind of macabre, but... If they died, and you came to the far plane, and you thought about them, their spirits would appear, letting you know that they are, in fact, deceased and not uh, lost or still missing somewhere, the far plane would tell you very quickly that they are actually dead. So, it's a pretty crazy place. You are still here. <laughs> He's like, get away. See you later. <laughs> See you later, cutie.
It's Chapu, you guys. What the? Yuna speaking with her parents, Lord Braska and her mother. Oh! This game is so cool, man. Like, what the hell is that, you know? It's like heaven. Can't really explain it, but it's there. The far plane is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a paradise, you know? Holy crap. This game is fucking amazing. I could play the far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about you. I could play this game a hundred times. They look so happy together. Or, or a thousand but it times. It got me worried that maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. You know, like, I, I could literally play this game like a thousand times and still get the same emotions and the same feels when you play this game. A thousand times, and I would still feel the emotion that you feel every time in this game. That's how you know this is an amazing game. Yo, Chapu! Still makes you feel good. You had to come see her earlier, yeah? <coughs> Sorry. I know you won't hold it against me. Eh, I gave up the game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? <laughs> this guy looks a lot like you. Showed up. Traveling with him, I thought maybe. See, look at how much he looks like him. Yeah? He looks a lot like Katie. again, here you are on a far plane. Just the hair is different. Is here. So? How you been? Oh, that guy I just told you about? I gave him a sword. He likes it. Huh? Shing. Now bringing the sword to Chapu's brother actually powers the sword up. So if you go look at the brotherhood right now, it's going to be a lot more powerful. Boom. Strength plus 5%. Strength plus 10%. Water strike. Sensor. Kuching. Hell yeah, and considering the next place in this game that we are actually going to, <clears throat> if you remember, is a place called the Thunder Plains, uh, where basically all of the enemies are lightning type, and what is lightning weak against? Water. What do we have? A sword made of water, you guys. <laughs> so good. He is dead, and I am still alive. She doesn't even speak Coming to people. here really makes that clear. I should focus more on what I have to do now. <laughs> what? I'm not even sure what I'm saying. Don't you mean that you should leave Chapu behind? I'm sure he was a great guy, but there'll be others. Hmm, hmm. that's a possibility. Mm. How about mm, Waka? What, me? With Waka? <laughs> yeah, you two get along great. <laughs> Getting along isn't enough. Not even close. Oh, sorry. My mistake. You'd do well to remember that. <laughs> Knowing a bit about women might come in handy someday. <laughs> yeah, I'll remember. I won't be forgetting either. Goodbye, Chapu. Mm. You always said I looked grumpy. But those were the happiest days of my life. Damn, man. Eh? This game's so sad sometimes. So, uh, Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember when I was only seven years old in Bavel that day. My father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? I must do what everyone wants, not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jet. Give it a try. Huh? Don't worry. He won't come. Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him, of course. See, he told you. He isn't here because he's not dead. He's sin. Fuck. <laughs> 
That means he's alive, you know. Yep, what if my old man really is Sin? What would I say to Yuna? Heck, uh, to everybody in Spira. Boy, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? Yeah. I'd rather never see him again. What makes you hate him so? Everything he does just makes me mad. It was his fault that me and my mother... Oh, oh man. Uh, this game is so uh, sad, you guys. Oh. It's her. She's very pretty. But, wait, no one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there, that's my mother you're talking about. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm, it's okay. Uh, I think I just figured something out. Yeah, Oren's, Oren's right. Why I hate my old man. See, so I told him what I thought of him right there. What? Really? Of course. <laughs> I suppose, but... Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Fuck, Is man. She right? That's so crazy. Why should you care? Imagine just being alone. If you guys, I wouldn't know what to do. You know? Don't say Mom is gonna die. I apologize. The old lady next door told me, when a lovebird dies, the one left behind, it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Uh, go to him. He'll cry if you don't. Hmm. Oh, man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. How embarrassing. Well, need some more time. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> Thanks for waiting. I'll go give my answer to Maester Seymour. Oh. Oh, Lord Jessica! Oh, Lord Jessica! He does not belong here. Why? Yuna, send him. Jiskel no more. Send him now. <laughs> he dropped a sphere, see? And Yuna took it. Talk later. We leave now. The spirit of Lord Jiskel dropped a spear. That really Lord Jiskel? He wasn't sent, so he became a fiend, right? <laughs> I would think that he was sent once. But he stayed on Spira. Something, a powerful emotion, could have bound him to this world. Such things happen. That's against the rules, isn't it? It means he died an unclean death. Hmm. He did not die naturally. <clears throat> That's Seymour's father, if you're wondering who that was. I 
will go meet with Maester Seymour. Yuna! Jisco is the Guado's problem, not yours. Um, what? So, Lulu, what do you think about Yuna getting married? <laughs> As long as the pilgrimage continues, either way is fine. That's it? What if she doesn't even like the guy? Is that okay? <laughs> People marry for many reasons. What's that mean? Sometimes marriage doesn't require love, you know? Defeat sin and bring joy to the people of Spira. Get married and bring joy to the people of Spira. For you not, they're just two ways down the same road. Mm. All you need is determination. If you have that, you don't need love. I don't know. Mm, I just don't get it. Mm -hmm. Alright. <clears throat> so we just have to talk to everybody in the team. Start by... Riku. It's Kimari and Riku. Huh. Huh. Looking for uh, Kimari and Riku. Kamari went shopping. she's in the far plane, but we'll check for shits and giggles, because if we don't check and she is here, well, <laughs> I don't think she is, though. There's other people up here, though. Oh, man, they're seeing their, their child, I guess. Thanks to the summoner sending the fallen ones uh, to the far plane, we were able to reunite with our son, who was killed in battle. Words cannot express how grateful we are. Wow, look at the fire plane, eh, you guys? This game's fucking awesome. Our son was killed in Operation Meehan. We begged him not to go, but... Man, it's one of the childs, one of the children, uh... One of the child crusaders. Man. Sin... Sin just has no mercy, you know? Man, woman, child, it's all the same thing to sin. Riku, where the hell are you? <laughs> what do potions cook? For a while there, I was a little worried about what was going <laughs> to happen, huh? <laughs> oh, that's right, she's like sitting on this friggin' thing here, isn't she? <laughs> Keep your eyes out for Riku, you guys. Where the hell she friggin' went? 
We leave as soon as Yuna returns. I trust you'll be ready. I'll be ready, big guy. Listen, if Yuna gets married, then I... What? That again? Yes. If she is to marry, I would want her to marry for love. Hmm. See? But if Yuna said she wanted to marry the one she loves, I would have to object. Huh? Huh? Uh, you're not making much sense. I know. Mm -hmm. Lulu? I've talked enough about that. What? I'm sorry, just forget about it. Jeez, grumpy. <laughs> You'll understand one of these days. I just don't want to give it words, not yet. I shouldn't have to say this, but don't fall in love with her. <laughs> You're more my type, Lulu. <laughs> A little bit too late for that. I see, but you must keep your feelings inside until the pilgrimage is over. Uh, no running in the halls. <laughs> we have to just find everybody and talk. We to leave them. as soon as I gotta find Riku. For water. Okay, they're all repeating. Water. Repeat. I'm a little. I wonder if Maester Seymour has heard. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we gotta find Riku. <laughs> Wherever she went. Check outside in the uh, hallway area. <laughs> Riku, where did you go? <laughs> the great search for Riku, you guys. What the hell? Riku? <laughs> uh, Rico! <laughs> you know, like, where is she? My! Oh, she'll Was the Lady Summoner not with you? No. She's at Seymour's place. That's Maester Seymour, or Lord Seymour. <laughs> oh, I'll be careful. Sorry. That's all right. Oh! Maester Seymour left Guadalajara a short while ago. What? You serious? I believe he went to the temple in Makalania. Maester Seymour is also the high priest of that temple. What the hell? Whoa! I gotta tell the others. Get out of the way, Shalinda. There's Rika. They're like, yo, uh, <laughs> Seymour's not here. You know, just went in the house. Where's she at? <laughs> you know. can I do to help? Yuna, let's go! Mrs. <laughs> Seymour went to Macarena Temple. <laughs> expecting Yuna's answer so soon. Ah, uh, that's probably it. <sighs> Yuna, what is it? Oh, nothing. Hmm. You're a poor liar. It's true, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. You got it, let's roll. Let's go get a uh, <clears throat> game save. Man, the first time that I played this game, the Thunder Plains, I, I totally fell in love with the Thunder Plains. It's such a cool area. It's such a different area from almost any other RPG. I can't even really think of many any many other RPGs that have an area like this. There's lots of strange areas in RPGs, but this is by far one of the strangest. <clears throat> one of the coolest as well. I fucking love the Thunder Plains. 
So the Thunder Plains are pretty big as well. This is the first like really large area in the game. It's two sections and each section is pretty big. Oh no, we're here. Oh no, poor Riku. <laughs> <laughs> How are we supposed to cross that? See the lightning rod towers? The lightning is drawn to them. Hopefully. Well, uh, hopefully. We head north. Not too near and not too far from the towers, yeah? Meaning we should avoid wide open areas. <gasps> I think I forgot something in Guado Salam. <laughs> <laughs> nice knowing you. Yeah, see ya. Because we're going. Okay, okay, I'll go. Alright, so you can get hit by lightning on the Thunder Plains. <coughs> but when the screen flashes, uh, if you press X when the screen flashes, you can dodge the lightning strike. There's a little mini game that goes along with this. Uh, if you can dodge the lightning 200 times, you get the uh, Mars. Is it the Mars? No, it's the. Uh, Venus sigil, or whichever one it is for Lulu, I just can't remember which one it is. But you can't just walk along mashing X like a madman either, because you'll just end up getting struck by lightning pretty much immediately. <laughs> Ugh. God damn it. No, we are definitely not going for fucking 200 lightning strikes and you're out of your mind. That takes, uh, takes a few hours to do that. To be honest. Yes, I have done it before. Yes, I have the game file to prove that I have done it before. <laughs> God damn it. Quite a bit of uh, gill. Ugh. Hold on a second. That's right, Riku starts around a bunch of strange stuff. You can actually send Riku right up into Kimari's techniques right at the beginning if you wanted to. Uh, okay, she's coming close to that empty node. I gotta remember to use that, one of those two magic spheres when we get there. <laughs> some more HP real quick. <laughs> She's quite vulnerable at the uh, amount of HP that she has current. Okay, and, uh, oh, we're actually right beside a save point, so why would I do that? Get a game save anyways. We're at a half an hour, so thank you guys for coming out to watch this episode of Final Fantasy X. Do me a favor, leave a like on the video, and maybe even subscribe to the channel. Other than that, I freaking love you guys, and I wish you guys the total Best. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day, and of course, I'll see you guys in the very next episode, so be sure to have a good one. Yes, I am Mr. Game Save when I play an RPG. <laughs> see you guys in the next one, man. Bye, bye.